this nigga. I don't know what y'all talking about here. <laughs> that was the last time I ever <laughs> did any of that <laughs> shit. I'm a delicate and black woman. Here's the thing, yeah. So dangerous. <laughs> My name is Shishi. <laughs> and I'm Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> and we have been friends since university. Yeah. 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 yeah guys. I don't know. Do you ever hear white women being called strong? Yeah, never. Why? In fact, they are seen as delicate. They are seen as they need to be taken care of. Yeah, they're like, oh, look at this dainty little person. It's I'm like it's like little. white white women are like some nice dangling earrings, and then black women are like the stone for it to be cut I don't <laughs> like that. No, I don't like that. And I, I like feel that. like some of um, mm -hmm. where did okay? I don't know if I'm going to say some of our men because I don't got no man that's mine. So but they're still our, our men because we're with them in the yeah. ecosystem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But some yeah. of our men prefer white girls because they're like that. <laughs> they're more delicate. Yeah, they're more true. taken care of. I have of. actually been told soft. so many times she's so aggressive. Yeah. You're so listen, yeah. I know I have dominating energy. If you can't handle it, just say that. You come, imagine? Come collect and me. then see at your is dominating. If you're worthy, I will submit. That makes so much sense. And also I feel like black women have been put on this pedestal of you have to be strong, you have to be this. So even by the time you even like want to submit to a man, submit, whatever that means, is is like are you worthy? Like for me, because when you show your vulnerability, you're always fucked over, you know. Yeah. So you're always like, I, okay, Kenya, my God, Kenya is all is the way so up here. Tricky. Kenya, you can't I feel like it's our generation. Anybody. Imagine. Me feel like it's our generation as a well. whole. No, of course, I think we tricky. have learned. We Nairobi. have learned. Or we have learned. Our generation has learned from the previous ones. We have seen our fathers, our uncles, what they've done to their women, and so us guys, we are. Building ourselves to be too prepared. Is the word too prepared? Yeah, yeah, I feel like I we are too to prepared. We want to be so independent and so stable that whoever yeah. comes, even if they fuck us over, it's like Bababu, I can still take care of myself, I can move on real quick. Yeah. One hour, okay, but before, if yeah. you were taught to submit, yeah, yeah. you were taught at to submit. At a certain love, age, at a certain you were time. To, yeah. Then they were told, husband first, then you can think about it. Your career. At all, they were taught. Come catch me. It's like me, but I'm not. Kids are expensive. Diapers a pack is a thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? I'm just shooting all the time. Uniform, uni, food, food. Because the girls are expensive. And yeah. you know how many times kids mm -hmm. get sick? Yeah, that's it's true. It's like I can't insurance. afford my own insurance, my own self. How am I even go? Yeah, Why? they such a, they such a, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. definitely yeah. generational difference. So if they're new here, welcome. If you're not, you know me. Notebook, come kawaida. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What does it mean to be a strong black woman? Because I feel like there's that stereotype of black women are strong, black women are aggressive. They are um, not agile. Right. They're, they're the backbone. Yeah, they're the backbone they're of the, the family. But men get the props. Yeah. So we're just gonna like talk about those topics, how um, we've seen it from like media, how it affects us, what we've seen with our own like women in our families and like around us and all that yeah. kind of stuff. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thank you, thank you too. Thank you. This is her idea, so to do this collaboration. Yeah, we this gotta work collab, to go. by the way. All right, so the first one is what do you think it means to be a strong black woman? What do I think it yeah. means? Or oh, when you hear the term strong, strong black, black woman, woman, what comes to mind? I think of like an overworked and appreciated person carrying mm. good knees with a pregnancy <laughs> and like a baby that she's carrying and like a baby. That's Some what I suffering. think. Suffering. Suffering. Endurance. Endurance. Tolerance. Just taking mm. all the shit and being like, I'm a strong black woman. I can carry all the weight and the burden yeah. and the backbone of the family yeah. and all, all the that. emotional baggage mm. all like you reconcile people you you just handle all the hard shit mm. okay yeah for me i think it's also the same thing yeah when i think of strong black woman i, I see someone crying 
in the bathroom. <laughs> that's the image that comes to my mind. And then getting out of the bathroom yeah, and smiling. smiling on their face. That's what I think of. Catch I also think dead. of someone um, doing like 56 things at the same time. You're on the phone, you're feeding someone, you're cleaning something, you're cooking something, you're sending an email, you're driving, you're like you're doing 56, 78 things at the same damn time. That's what, that's what I think of. I think of exhaustion. I think of unfairness. Lying on of, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's also that there's that aspect. I feel like I think of being put on a pedestal, a very unrealistic pedestal, and a pedestal that only children and men enjoy from, and that I gain yeah. nothing from. Yeah, that's true. Actually, you don't get to enjoy this thing. It's yeah. the people around you who get to enjoy, enjoy the strength. Yeah. And I people just get to carry the burden of all this strength. Yeah. But no more. No more. No more. From my research, these are some definitions that I go to the internet that we talk about here. So obviously endurance you mentioned that. Yeah. Um there's one that you mentioned, I think that's when you're talking about religion, is that strong black women are morally righteous. They're supposed to have high standards. You'd never do the wrong thing, you're not allowed to make mistakes because if you make the slightest mistake, everything collapses because yeah. everything is on your back. And where do you think that comes from? Personally, me, I think it comes from slavery. And me, I think it comes... Okay, it could come from slavery and colonialism because... Yeah. Because a lot of men were taken out to go fight, yeah, and then yeah. and then women yeah. had to carry the burden of everything, yeah, all at once. But I also feel like when the men came back, mm. they slapped. Yeah, yeah. Also, I mean, it comes from so granted like, they, they came with their own trauma from like war or slavery and like all those type of yeah. things. But like, yeah, there's that thing of you're the woman of the house. But really, I'm the man of the house. Yeah. So, like, where is my food? I think some, where is my I think some of this mm. thing, where it comes from, yes, from slavery, mm -hmm. but a lot, because, like, slavery was so long ago. Yeah. So, not Actually, so long ago. It's two generations away. two generations yeah. away. But maybe that's why white people still see us as beneath them. That's true. Because that's not so long ago. It's been passed from their grandparents I mean, like, the queen has seen, the queen has seen this shit. Since she, like... Yeah, there's that morally righteous thing that is always attached to being like a strong black woman. It's like, let's go to her for advice. Yeah. She knows, she obviously, she's she been through so much, so she knows the answers. She knows what to say. She knows what to do. And she never makes mistakes. She's never allowed to make mistakes. And I also think it comes from media because, okay, and this might sound a bit controversial, <laughs> say it, nigga. but I consider myself African first. Before I consider myself black. Yeah. Because so I think the strong yeah. black woman thing also has come from Western media to us. Because that's why it's been yeah. Like the people have been saying Tyler Perry loves making movies about with black women in pain. Like all his movies yeah. are about black women in pain. But it's like romanticized. That's what he's grown up around. Yeah, probably. You know, I can't. I'm not inside his brain. I've never met him. You know, but, but it's how he's pattern. grown up. That's exactly. what he's. So he's telling yeah. the stories of the women that were around yeah. him. Yeah. Not to say. Wait. Not to say uh -huh. that black women and African women don't go to do the same child and go to completely yeah. different things. Panda. Yeah. I, I feel like the same but different sides of the coin. Yeah. Yeah. Because like black women, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's Martin Luther King or Malcolm X that said mm -hmm. black women are the most undervalued yes, people. Yeah. They're the most undervalued people in like America or yeah. whatever. Yeah. But like us guys, most disrespected, most underappreciated, yeah. most overlooked, the ones who are not as safe. guys, as yeah. black women, I think the thing with us is when we are young, mm. it's all that, oh, you're so beautiful, oh, no, 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 no. but the older you get, you're valued less. Yes, that's true. But that's when also, you're a female that's boss, patriarchy, like, yeah. But when you're a female boss, for example, mm. you're moody, you're bitchy, you're bitchy. You're aggressive. The older you are, the harder it gets for a woman. Yeah. And it's even like, mm. like you know, those comments for mm. ah, where you got say you kiss a cat thirty when you talk on a tiktaka. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that uh, thing uh, no, 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 let me tell yeah, you, yeah. you think you will get young girls yeah. while I'm watching? In fact, in there will fact, be young boys too. What in a sudden? Not even that. To some Aquilia, 
when women become older, truly, black women, African women, become sexier than the men. So really, wanna grow kitambi? Your hairline is receding the older that you get. These strong black women that these guys are talking about that raised them, yeah? <laughs> they used to have, like, it, it was like they didn't care about how they looked. Yeah, it was true. about everybody else except themselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are yeah, in yeah, different yeah, generation yeah. where yeah. I yeah. care about how I look, I yeah. care about my mental, I care yeah. about my emotional, I care about my body. Yeah. So, like, because I care about it's very self, revolutionary. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I care about self. You know how Kitambo said, people used to say, as men get older, they look better. Did they? I genuinely only think the older you become, you become fine if you take care of yourself. You see, there are like wine okay. ages, the whiskey ages. It's been put yeah. in a barrel. It's yeah. being taken care of. It's being checked on. It's being, you know, ukijichunga, you become sexier when you get older. If you think your prime years are when you're young, see, then that's on you. Me, yeah. I plan on being fine until I'm Yay. old. Till I'm a mokoro. <laughs> you know? Which brings me to the next point of strong black women are seen as people who have an unselfish pursuit for the better of others, not for themselves. Yeah. Your for the longest time the narrative of being a strong black woman has been you take it. You're the punching bag. You're the punching bag for your kids. You're the punching bag for your husband. You're the punching bag for everyone. Punter for husband. Yes, exactly. And then because especially like from the dark ages, and I call them dark ages because shit was not cute. <laughs> like yeah. back in the day, we know women are not allowed to have jobs. They're not allowed to have Even drive a drive. car. You know those type of things. So you had to be a housewife. You had to marry young. You had to marry a man who makes money, and then you have to have the kids. Like in the same year, you have to make the food. House is clean. Give him sex. Make sure his clothes are ironed. Make sure his outfit is relayed. Come toto. Yani atina kuchole anguo the iron neko kwa kitanda kwa ni toto. Mimi nisa fanya kwa mitu zingine. Lakini you have to bring the same amount of exactly. shit to the table. Exactly. It has to be reciprocated. Yeah. Reciprocated you can't just like, yeah, yeah. It has to be reciprocated. Mm. Kwanza in Kenya it's absolute shit because <laughs> I can't from Seba. Unakukuka yule mwanaume alienda parliament mm -hmm. na socks zimeraruka. And then uh, who did everyone blame? Uh, his wife. wife. Yeah. Because oh how God, can that's I That's so true. I forgot about that. Yeah. How can a grown man look at socks that torn? You're no, like, ah, it's okay, let me just And then you them. blame and then you blame and your you wife. What is that? Are you not grown? You know they they used to ask, you're a woman and you can't cook, who will marry you? you? You're a man, you can't cook, who you can't build a house. Who will marry you? You, you, my friend. Who, my friend. Better, you, better you. get into that kitchen you, 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 you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we are going to a world where things are going to be very fifty-fifty. Yeah, yeah, I agree. We are moving to a world where men, we are going to the same schools, yeah. we are going to the same universities, we are searching for the same jobs, yeah. okay? And I understand I am not expecting you to pay shit for me because I'm expecting myself to be able to afford my yeah. lifestyle. Yeah. So it's you not have a need, to bring, it's more of a want. It be you a have want, to bring something yeah. else to the table, the table other than finances. Yeah, and I also feel like the leeway of women, black women, African women being strong has made men... <laughs> yeah. Because especially the ones who be like mama's I boys. can't date a last one. <laughs> I feel that. I can't. Even me, 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 I can't. First bonds and only children can only date and end up with first bonds or only, only children. children. Cause there's a level of maturity and independence that, that you we have. Aki, I can't. I can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't. But he, he, when yeah, I hear somebody's a last bond, a last bond like, boy. Mm. Ah, last I'm bonds can be with like last bonds. Bond. But then also, like, um, I have an auntie of mine who was telling me. Uh, she's uh, married to okay, so they are, they are both my her and her husband. They are both last ones. So they were doing this. You know, these my church therapies you do before you get married. Yeah. So they brought out to them. They're like, you're both last ones, and that they be, they might be confused because you're both used to being spoiled and taken care of and taken care of and all those kind of things. Yeah. So I was like, oh well, I've actually never really thought of that because then he 
Kim is there is like I how she's there like <laughs> even me. So now what are we gonna do? So now I asked her like so how does it really work? Like how is it supposed to work? So they usually say maybe not like first bonds. I don't know if a first bond and a last bond can work to be honest. Mimi takutukia. Yani ni yani unakaa hapo una expect mimi 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 mimi. Mimi 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 wongo not, yeah not but there's, not that's me. actually a and thing fact, i can't remember the, like, the exact like who fits with who but i know first ones go with like only children or like the middle ones or like they want to let's say you're five yeah number one two three can be with only or one two three number three four five can be with the uh, two three four like that there's like a science to it if i find an article like, i'll link it you know but like that's a thing but what i was saying was the notion of women always being strong and being don't dress like this dress like this don't put this put this you're supposed to do this don't do this no 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 so now the man is like the dude makes a mistake then they've been over which is also ironic that it's the mothers who've done this to the men so that they become so soft yeah. so it's like a strong even like in like the day is the is a strong black woman but the man is not meeting her level of strength so we've been put on this pedestal of we enjoy everything we tolerate everything our walls are like way yeah. high yeah. so now by the time you're able to make such a woman vulnerable it's so hard it's so tricky yeah and it's gonna take like a lot of effort and then these men if you've been spoiled but you've been given information angalau but if you've just been spoiled and you've not been told how to navigate the emotions of a woman like you know women are from Venus men are from Mars that notion is like because the way men and women react to things are very different completely you know yeah so there's that and gap a last born can't understand that shit yeah a last born is just they just can't <laughs> last born can't. can do your makeup nyen ni kwa tena last born mimi ukiniona na last born ya mtu hey niambie unacheza niambie nipate huko kwa the streets na last one i'm dead oh my god hey, can you talk about the religion thing you don't yeah, yeah, of course yeah, yeah. i feel like um strong black women are very inclined to religion because they have nowhere else to place their burdens That's or true. you Which know is why i was being mentioned on colonialism because our spirituality was taken away and we are told pray to yeah, god, pray to god, god. god. and we are very i feel like Afri- people of african descent are very sp- spiritual so whatever the spirituality connects yes, we are so we were given the chance true. we are very spiritual yeah. we are we, are and we believe in our yeah. spirituality we are not those at church going on sunday and yeah, then we yeah, don't yeah. do our spirituality our thing. spirituality is like if you see if you see, if you see right. the way africans dance yes. You know, in, it's so yeah, spiritual. It's you see it's, the singing, it's, like if you did the things for drama first, music first, like our our chanting and our singing and all those kind of things. It's very rooted in our spirituality. You know, so it works. Exactly. Yeah. Like we connect the strong black women to religion and spirituality because they have nowhere else to lean on. They have all these things that they need to carry, but then they have no one to share it with. So now, um. Even a son that yeah. is growing with a strong black woman and the spiritual looks for a woman who goes to church yeah. and does all these things. They say you end up marrying your, your mama, mama or your dad. It's true. You look for those qualities because those are the first yeah, people you fell in love with. I'd be mad if I married my dad. Yeah, yeah, that those that those qualities like the first relative that you fell in love with is what you yeah. whether it's your uka your show sure. your auntie your uncle or your mom yeah. or your dad those yeah. those are very distinct yeah. 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 yeah yeah so yeah yeah i do think that religion plays a big role in telling even women be strong yeah 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 be strong and another thing that Have i say just, just pray just pray just pray kwanza when your husband cheats on you just pray yeah. for him just pray, just pray. Yeah. catch and then you could not do what thing i'm doing no way can you come say kuja come to my house after you cheat on me I don't understand. And your husband is cheating, he's doing all the right wrong things and you're told as a woman just pray. Yeah, just and then pray. you know another thing that I hate. Yeah. The more you stay in a bad marriage, the more oh, you yeah. stay in a bad situation. That tolerance and you are that tolerance that and you are that need and for the and reputation and for, for the church the more see. your cult is strong. I think in the unit chat what is that really that? annoys me because yeah. that point